Oasis Sensory Deprivation. Enter a new dimension. Change your perception. Experience a new reality. Experience a new reality. Experience a new reality by joining me. Stay tuned for update one of my 5x5 challenge. A 5x5 challenge is a challenge that is in the game satisfactory where all manufacturing, that is, all buildings that make stuff must exist on a 5x5 grid. They also have to fit within a space with the walls being up. After they fit, you can usually take them down. In a 5x5, you can create as, as tall of tower as you want and most likely you'll end up going well above the space elevator. Power, on the other hand, can be done in a 10x10 space. You might hear something different from different people, but I'm going to be putting my power on a 10 by 10 space. All material must enter at one level and be sent up. You can't simply uh, train it up or uh, make different conveyor belts at different levels at all. All must come in at the same point and then rise up the tower that you create. Logistics can exist outside of the 5x5. Five five. This means pipes and conveyor belts. Pipes and conveyor belts can be used outside of the 5x5 five by, five by utilizing pipe holes and conveyor walls. And this will allow you to make sure that you have plenty of space inside of the 5x5 five five for all your manufacturing. Stop getting invested in fake realities. I I'm six foot 10. You're five foot nine. We could be in a turtle's dream in outer space. This is it guys, this is my five by five. As you can see, it's starting to get pretty tall. Right now it's 30 floors high and I wanted to take you guys on a tour of what, everything that I've done so far. Um, here's my five by five and all resources are coming in at one centralized location and then being brought up into the tower. Everything's being brought through this little um, hub that I've created here, gets sent along this bridge. This is the underneath side of that bridge. Now all the ore comes in at this location here. I'll show you guys kind of the angle here. This is what it looks like with all of the ore traveling up the five by five. We'll start from the bottom, which I highly suggest you guys do. If you ever want to do a five by five, I highly suggest you make a hyper tube that shoots you the top. because It's a whole lot easier to get down a five by five than it is to get up. So we're going to start from the top and we're going to work our way down. This is a 30 hyper tube booster. And I have to slow myself because it will shoot me well above what I need to actually get to. This is essentially what it should look like in your 5x5. The walls must be up before the machines get placed. Now, I use hyper tubes to travel between the floors, but um, only if I need to go up, really. For the most part, I'm jetpacking down and leaving wall holes or doorways in between to where I could reach in and grab whatever I need to grab. So here on this floor, we are making computers and that was the latest project that we have done. Now, I wanted to start making computers so we could start making some fuel generators because we're gonna be moving on to oil power here pretty soon. So I make these little doors so I can get out and go to the next floor. My next floor is going to be circuit boards. I'm making circuit boards here with silica silica and copper sheet making circuit boards one floor down next floor down it's going to be um, we are using quick wire and pipe to make stators stators are coming out they're being used to make motors my stators are whipping up around here going down a floor one more down one more floor down and we can see my motors are being made here motors rotors and stators all come together on this floor one more floor down we are making wire and cable here so we have wire and cable being generated here one more floor down this is all wire this whole floor is going to be wire this is also a wire i love wire because from my alternate recipe um, video you can tell that i love things like stitched iron plate and the steel rotors and so I'm a big fan of wire. This is going to be where I'm using a lot of copper in it. We are making copper sheets. Copper sheets are being sent to the circuit boards. We are making stitched iron plate on this floor. As you can see here, top three recipe right here, stitch iron plates. And those are being produced as well. This floor is producing the iron plates required for the stitch iron plates. We're making screws with steel beams. 
We have very few screw machines. I'm not a big fan of screws, but in the 5x5, sometimes I'm gonna have to run screws. And so it made sense in this case that I'm running some screws. Um, in here, this is where I'm making steel beams. I have a single steel beam machine and I have a single rod machine. Okay, we're gonna go down one more floor here. This is all making pipes. The pipes are being sent to different floors. We use lots of pipes in this build. One more floor down, we skip a floor. And the reason for why we skip the floor is because this is kind of a big area here where I'm making heavy modular frames with the concrete. Those reinforced plates and the screws to make the modular frames. The modular frames are being sent around into the ma manufacturer here where I'm making heavy modular frames. Concrete's being made right down here and the encased beams. We are using encased industrial pipe recipe, another one of my favorites. Going down one more level, we could see that this level is making quick wire. A lot of quick wire machines here. Going down one more level, we can see the Caterium ingot being created. We've got um, elevator conveyor, conveyor lift spaghetti. Here's my copper, copper ore being turned into ingot, iron ore being turned into ingot, more iron ore being turned into ingot, and the steel being created here with another one of my favorite recipes, mixing coal with the iron ingot. All that's left now is to talk really about the oil. So let's go take a look at the oil. We're gonna hop out here. We're gonna go down one floor. Oh, and this is where my quartz and silica are being made. Alrighty, here is where my refineries are at. Now this is a little incomplete because we're still building this because we're trying to get to power now. I was able to fit four refineries and some fluid buffers on each floor. And I think that that's good enough um, for now. We might have to end, uh, end up adding some more later, but this is gonna have to just work for now. Let's take a look out over here. One more floor down will give us the next set of refineries. And down here, we are making plastic. The plastic is being sent into this crate here and the heavy is going up to make fuel. Once again, four refineries, two fluid buffers, the small ones, and some storage containers for the plastic. One more level down. We're gonna be looking at my rubber. We've got four refineries in here making rubber, going into, going and being stored here and being sent up to the computers. So let me show you guys what I've got going on here. Um, with the oil. On the northern northern shore of the map, there's a little area over here with, if you combined, it makes 300 oil per line. So let's go take a look at that. And it's all right here. Three oil extractors, two of them are being combined into a 300 line and then the other is a 300 line. Power is hidden using ground cables. It's all nice and neat. We'll take a look at power. 26 boosters taking me to the top. And if I don't stop myself, right at the top, I'll fly way higher than I need to. Slide off the tower and head on over to the power. So for this build, I did three levels of coal and I'm gonna be doing two levels of oil power. So this is five extractors, two pipes and 14 coal gens running here on each level. I'll, I'll be encasing these in walls live on stream and prettying this place up. But for right now, let's head to the top and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be expanding on next. A little slow on this hyper tube as I do not have boosters here. Here's where my fuel gens are gonna be, right up here. So this is that 10 by 10 space that we were talking about and the other 10 by 10 space. So right now the challenge really is trying to get these fuel generators in some way where I could fit as many as I can on a floor. And that's really the challenge with 5x5. Five five. There's really cool ways to approach this game that you would have never have thought of before. So that about has it. I showed you guys the manufacturing 5x5, five five, all my resource bridge here that I've created. All the resources are coming in from around the world, mostly right here. The really the only one that I have coming from a while away is this Caterium. This Caterium is being transported over. But that's it, quartz, coal, copper, iron, all being brought across that bridge right there. Well, there you have it. Update one of my five by five challenge. What did you guys like to see the most? And what do you guys want to see me do in the future? And 
What are you going to do your 5x5? Five five? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget, guys, I stream this and many other different types of designs on my stream. Um, I'll, I'll drop the links down below my stream time. Please head on over there and join me over there in the longhouse. I'd really appreciate you guys coming and support me over there. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on the next update. It's my choice. It's your universe. It's my universe. And you are God. I am God.